Okay, hello. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Bouge RV 30 quart portable refrigerator freezer. I'm going to go ahead and open the box up. Now, this has been sitting upright for at least 24 hours, so I'll be okay. up without cutting myself there we go. All right. box within a box fun really begins Okay, that was a pain. And finally, we get into the actual product. Okay, so it comes. Take off the styrofoam. All right. Let's go ahead and pull it out of this box. Hope we won't have as hard a time as we had earlier. There we go. Okay. There it is. All right, once again, Bouge RV, 30 quart, portable freezer refrigerator. That's really nice. All right, so this weighs 31 pounds. 31 pounds total weight. Obviously empty. You're going to get um, the package includes a obviously a 30 quart freezer. A user's manual. 12 to 24 volt DC power cord, a 110 to 240 volt AC cord. So I'm assuming that's in here. This little package. Okay. What you're going to get. All, the way up. all right. So you get a warranty card. And let's see, uh, VIP service extended one year warranty. Great. Put my mag down so I don't cut myself. Get your instruction manual. And then you get your One ten two forty volt AC power cord. All right, and your adapter it goes here just like this. Okay, you also get your twelve volt to twenty four volt DC cord. Okay. So this is for your cigarette lighters, your SUV, regular car, travel trailer, boat, you name it, whatever. Okay, so two ways to charge. All right, so the Bush RV 30 quart portable refrigerator freezer. This sells for normally $279.99 at bougerv.com. I paid $232.99 off their website. I had some discounts I used. All right. So this is their 30 quart refrigerator freezer. It's very nice. It 
inside really deep with the removable divider and it has a data plate with your temperatures for your meats your fish vegetables soft drinks alcohol beverages it's also got its data plate chain so it doesn't come flipping off in the wind but really nice seal it closes really nicely nice and solid all right up here you have your little touch screen well not touch screen your LED display I'll take off the covering all right so you have your LED display here. You have your on off, on off touch screen switch. You have your unlock set touch screen. You have your temperature control buttons right here up and down. And you also have a USB charging port. Not too shabby. And then for those of you like me who throw away their instructions to, and never can find them again, they have instructions right here for its operation. So it's really well thought out. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fire this bad boy up. Now it comes with your 110, 240 volt AC adapter with power cord. All right, it also comes with your 12, 24 volt DC power cord for your cigarette lighters and your cars, trucks, trailers boats <clears throat> before I start though this is 31 pounds not too heavy you know, it has two modes it has echo mode when you actually turn it on and I'll go into that which only consumes less than 30 45 watts and then max mode which is your quickest cooling is 60 watts all right so I'm gonna stop running my mouth and hook this fridge up I'm gonna use my Boulder 330 watt portable power station. On the side here, you have your connector port for your DC 12, 24 volts. I'm gonna go ahead, connect the AC adapter. All right, once that's done, ahead and turn on the power station just turn on the power station that's all I did I'm gonna plug in the AC and then I'm gonna turn it on and so you can see what happened the LED display lit up that's the current temperature inside the refrigerator right now all right so now to this reads in Fahrenheit and in Celsius if you want to change it you hold down the gear and the plus for three seconds and that'll change it to Celsius if you wanted to go back to Fahrenheit simply hold it again for three seconds and it goes back to Fahrenheit all right, if you want to switch between your modes, your max and your echo mode, max will be 60 watts. It'll pull 60 watts, which is on high right now. If I want to put it on echo, I'm sorry, it's on echo right now, which will pull less than 45 watts. I want to switch it to max. I just push this, and now it's on max. But I'm going to put it, I'm going to leave it on max. It also has three battery modes for when you have it plugged into your vehicle and this has to do with the voltage draw and when it's going to cut off so you don't use up your batteries in your vehicle you can adjust that by holding three seconds and you can adjust where you want to set it high low medium but we're not going to be using that so I'm not worried about it 
All right, so right now we have it on max. Right now it's currently 101 degrees Fahrenheit inside the freezer refrigerator. Obviously you can't put anything in there. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set the temperature. But before we do that, I'm going to monitor the temperature with the Accurite monitor and transmitter. Now what this does, you can use it various ways. Normally you put this outside your trailer, your house. This transmitter will send the temperature outside to the monitor and it'll have the outdoor temperature at the top with your current time and the temperature inside. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put this transmitter inside here. At the same time, I'm going to go ahead and drop the temperature on the refrigerator to, oh, it's locked. Unlock it, you simply just hold the gear button and it's unlocked. I'm going to drop it down to 37. I'm going to leave it there on max mode. And it has kicked on. Okay, as you see it's clocking down. It's really quiet. Really quiet. I'm very pleased with that. It's not loud at all. Got your vents on this side. Oops, don't want to turn that on. It's pulling 51, 50 watts on max on my boulder, not too bad. Okay, so we're going to leave it and see how long it takes to get down to 37 degrees. I'll be back shortly. Okay, so about between 17 and 20 minutes, it dropped down to 34 degrees. I know our goal was 37. It surpassed that, and it's on 34 degrees right now. Okay, and then once again, that's on max mode. Now my Accurite thermometer is at 46. It takes a little bit longer for this Accurite to catch up, but it will. You know, it's 10 bucks from Walmart. You can't beat it. And you might say, well, why do I need this if I got the temperature out here? Well, that's a great question. Well, when you put this in the back of your vehicle and you're driving and you can't look back and see the temperature on there, you can put this up on the dashboard or in between your seats. Uh, and you can look at it while you drive to monitor the temperature in the refrigerator. I mean, for 10 bucks, it's not bad at all. You get the, the monitor and the transmitter. And I got that from Walmart. Okay, right now the monitor is saying it's 45 degrees in there, but it's slowly ticking down. All right, so fridge is really fast at getting cold. It's great. And once it hits its, its goal, the power draw, obviously, I keep doing that, has dropped down to one watt. So it's just going to sit there until the um, refrigerator kicks back on. So overall I'm pretty impressed the Bouge RV 30 quart refrigerator freezer small enough to put in the back of pretty much any vehicle that's not the refrigerator that's my portable power station kicking on like that so I don't think that's the sound of the refrigerator it's not There's the transmitter. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out of there. 